So the object of the morning here is to show you Taco's latest venture, which is uh, really becoming a solutions provider as opposed to simply selling you guys hardware. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you do with the equipment, the Achilles heel has always been the controls piece. The problem with controls is if I walk into most buildings and I'm a, and I'm a contractor servicing the equipment, the problem I have is I stare at the blinking lights and hope the control guy comes. And that whole, if you like, business model of how controls works pretty much looks like this. Here's a contractor, the controls guy, and the customer. As long as that contractor, long after you guys have specified it and long after everybody's left, as long as he has to revert to the controls contractor to satisfy the customer, you've got another cost center in owning buildings because this controls business is not about first cost. It's about the ongoing cost of ownership. We just got through doing a school system up in Vermont and the cost to install iWorks was a fraction of the cost of what it was going to cost them to upgrade their existing system, which by the way, they couldn't afford to keep. I'm asking you to keep an open mind and take a look at the concept of what we've brought to the table here. And if you want conceptually how iWorks is framed, think of Windows. Remember in the days if you wanted a spreadsheet application, if you wanted PowerPoint, if you wanted Word, somebody would go out and create that. And that essentially is the state of building automation controls. So in that framework, here comes iWorks. And let me just show you the concept to iWorks. Here are individual modules. So whether it's a chiller plant, if you look at this building here, all of these modules were done with iWorks. So whether it was a chiller plant, a boiler plant, a VAV, VVT, it doesn't really matter. Whatever the application is, we wrote, if you like the firmware, the code for each of these individual controllers. And what's the advantage to that? Think about it. Every one of these sequences are regression tested. If you, put, if you folks put regression testing mandatory in every one of your specs, you wouldn't get a quote. So essentially either daisy chain, bus, star, loop, the configuration doesn't really matter. What's important is that each of those controllers are now tied into and they come back to this particular front end. And unlike most building automation systems, there is no on-site PC. Is that a big deal? Absolutely. What happens if you lose power in a building? How long would a PC last? And the point is, who's going to go back and reboot? You've built in a service call. And the beauty of the iWork system is once you've got your controllers to commission the network, which we really don't have time, but if you'd like to after I can show you, you simply depress the commissioning pin. And guess what? It automatically commissions itself to the network. And, and the reason that you're in this building is one simple reason. It's why we try to get people to listen to our story. It's an important story because I think you provide value that competitive engineering firms don't. And who's that value to? Your customer. Takeo has provided that. So if you get to that level of a project and you say, no, I really want to integrate this with the back net, the lawn, and the mod bus, at least let us look at it. Because we may be able to help you right from here.